a Zen Trade Game production. Help support the channel by Zen Trade Game merch. Imagine waking up one morning and discovering that the job you've trained for, sacrificed for, and built your life around no longer needs you. Not because you failed, not because you weren't skilled enough, but because a machine learned to do it faster, cheaper, and without ever needing a break. This isn't a scene from a dystopian film. This is the quiet, unsettling reality forming all around us. And the question no one wants to face is this. In the future of work shaped by artificial intelligence, who survives and who doesn't? AI is no longer a tool. It is becoming a worker, a manager, a creator, and in some industries, a replacement for entire teams. For the first time in human history, we're competing not with other humans, but with something that never gets tired, never burns out, and never asks for a salary. And the world is dividing itself in ways we're only beginning to understand. Some people will rise higher than ever before, supported by AI that boosts their skills and amplifies their abilities. Others will be pushed out of the economy entirely, not because they lack potential, but because the rules of the game changed without warning. The truth is uncomfortable, but necessary to confront. For generations, people believed that hard work and education were the keys to stability. But what happens when machines can learn faster than we can? What happens when AI becomes better at the very things we were told would secure our future? Many workers today feel the ground shifting beneath their feet, even if they can't fully explain why. Jobs that once seemed safe are being automated piece by piece, and the transition is happening quietly behind lines of code written by people most of us will never meet. But the real crisis isn't just economic, it's psychological. Humans define themselves through work, through contribution, through purpose. What happens when millions of people wake up and feel unnecessary, not unemployed, unneeded, that is a wound deeper than any financial loss. And it's a wound society is not prepared to heal. Still, it's important to understand that AI doesn't eliminate all jobs. It transforms them, it reshapes them, it creates opportunities for those who know how to adapt and closes the door on those who do not. The people who survive the future of work won't necessarily be the smartest or the strongest or even the most educated. They will be the ones who understand one truth. AI is not the enemy. It is the environment. Fighting it is like fighting the weather. Learning to work with it instead of against it will determine who thrives. But what about those who can't adapt quickly enough? What about the factory worker who has done the same job for 20 years? What about the delivery driver replaced by autonomous vehicles? What about the office administrator replaced by a machine that can schedule, write, and communicate instantly? These are not hypothetical scenarios. They are stories unfolding right now, in real time. There is a growing divide between people who know how to use AI and people who don't. It may soon become the most important divide in society, not political, not cultural, not educational, technological, a line between those who can command AI and those who are commanded by it. And once that divide is fully formed, climbing from one side to the other will become harder than ever. Yet, amidst all the fear, there is something powerful emerging. AI is giving ordinary people abilities that once belonged only to experts. The ability to design, to code, to analyze, to create, to build. Some will lose their jobs to AI. Others will build entire businesses with it. The same technology that replaces one person can empower another. That is what makes this moment so fragile, so unpredictable, and so defining. The question is not whether AI will shape the future of work. It already is. The real question is who will shape themselves in response because survival in this new world won't be about avoiding change. It will be about transforming with it. The truth no one wants to admit is that the future doesn't belong to AI. It belongs to the people who learn how to partner with it. 
And as this transformation accelerates, one thing becomes clear. The greatest threat is not the rise of machines. It's the rise of a world where millions of people don't know where they fit anymore. But the story isn't finished. We are still writing it, one decision at a time. The next shift in work, identity and opportunity, is coming faster than anyone expected. And the choices we make today will decide who survives tomorrow.